across the APIs, Salesforce REST query. Welcome to another session across the APIs. We're gonna be diving into one of the many available APIs that Salesforce has. Each of them have different purpose and unique capabilities. And so we're gonna be looking at them one at a time. Today, we're going into the query API, how to retrieve records S objects out of Salesforce. Across the APIs, going into the Salesforce REST query. There's multiple available APIs. I've been tracing the help documents and across all the clouds, I think I found over 80. And what we're gonna be doing is on some of the more notable ones, we're gonna be diving in and looking at them. So this shows you what I found that there is a number of coming in through this client on the left, you're gonna have both versioned web servers and unversioned web servers. And the unversioned web servers are primarily the ones that are custom. The ones that are versioned are by Salesforce. And we're gonna be diving into specific APIs. Today, we're talking about the query API. So the URL for that is services, data, the version, slash query. And it ex executes a SOCL query. Now, a key element is it only retrieves 2,000 records at a time in a synchronous request. So it's gonna give you a immediate response. Now, it can be tuned for smaller responses, and there is an ability for query more. And so we're gonna be taking a look at this. So it's the HTTP method with get, it needs the header with the bearer token. And there's the URL, services, data, xx.x, query. And then the SQL with the SQL SQL query. And this is an example of the query more, but let's stay on the query right now and take a look at this. I have this sandbox that I've loaded with data. And then what we're looking at is there are airports in the world, and this has approximately 72,000 airports loaded from an open source data source. We can take a look at this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be retrieving this data through Postman externally. So what we have here is a Postman, first going to the authentication endpoint, login.salesforce OAuth2 token. We have a grant type of password, the client ID, the client secret, the username, and the password and security token. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna trigger an authentication. So I hit send, and now I have an access token. So this is a valid access token. I can copy it, and I can go to, first we're gonna query accounts. And what we can do is we can go to the header is the bearer token, paste the token here, and hit query. And so now what I've got is in this query, I, this is old v57, let's bump it to 59, which is currently the latest version. So I am retrieving the accounts with ID name and an extra column industry and created date from account. I'm getting total size is 14 records. It, the query is complete and it's showing me the results here. So this allows me to query. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna query airports. So a key element is when we looked at accounts, is this total size is 14 and it's done. So that tells me that all the records have been retrieved in the first request. What we're gonna be doing is querying the airport. And right here, we have select ID name from OA airport. There's no where clauses. This is gonna show all the records in the airport, which there are 72,000. And exact 74,000, and you can see total size is 74,000, but this is limited to only 2,000. So the word done is false. And then it's actually gonna give me a next record URL here that allow me to go find the next records. But if we look, we scroll down, uh, each one has about eight lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we look at the max lines, in the set, we see we're at about 16,000. So 2,000 results times eight lines should put us right at 16,000 lines in the result set. So this is giving us 2,000 and even 2,000 results, but this tells us we're not done. So what I need to do is I need to then 
fire off this query. Now let's see if we can follow the link here. And what we're going to need is an author authorization, bearer, space, and then the security token. And here we go. And then I hit send. So now what we have just done is we have taken the next record URL that has come back from Salesforce inside the link next record URL. We have followed it. We have added the proper header. And then now we have another set of 2000 results. So here I have two more thousand and this tells me that I'm not done. So what I can continue to do is to follow the next results URL by URL, making request after request, 2,000 at a time, until I see the word done is false, or excuse me, done is true. So this allows me to authenticate, make my query, and it can be a valid SQL query, retrieving the results, and then I have a step-by-step -step retrieval of additional records from the query. And you can see that from the query more example where it'll give you the total size, done, false, and then the URL. Now there is an additional beta feature and we're gonna take a look at that. So here's the help text for query. We're on V59. We're following the same syntax. And then we have the ability to get feedback on query performance. So this is a beta feature where what we can do is we can get the execution plan for this. And so all we have to do is take the same command and swap out the word query for explain. And that'll give us key information. So if we come right here, we go to query airports, and there was our initial query with the first set of data and instead of Q, we're going to put explain. So it's going to run the set, the result set with 74,000, and it's going to ask us to explain. So this is now going to show us the query plan, the query plan analyzer. It's going to tell us the cardinality, 74,000. It's going to tell us it was a table scan, and there's no cardinality. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this from OA Airport now here, what I've done is I've used the explain and I added a parameter where name is like Z and I did the percent sign with the encoding. And so now we can start to see we get a cardinality and relative cost plan. So this is telling us some really good information about that we have the cardinality of 742 contain, we are not considering the NX, NX delete but it's also telling us that we have either the table scan or um, let's see a little bit, I'm not using the filter, the relative cost here. So this is giving us good query analyzer feedback by just using the word explain. And that is a really powerful th thing you can do from outside of Salesforce. So all you need to do is take your query, swap the Q equals, for explain, and then you can be able to test different ways to query the data. So that's a nice straightforward way that you can see how you can retrieve data out of Salesforce. You just use the authenticate, hit the query. Um, you can see how you can handle more than 2000 rows with the needs more and hit the uh, second data sets. And you also see how you can get your query plan. Very powerful. And this way, when you're outside of Salesforce in, an, in a client, you're able to make all the queries you like. Now, you do want to be aware of the 2,000 result sets and the fact of the pagination. If you really need large amounts of data, you should be looking at the bulk API. Now, I hope this was helpful. So stay curious, query all, and join me again, same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe to stevetecharc.com and or steve tech arc and join me at www.stevetecharc.com have a great day